it wasn't a big surprise, we're going to now use our equation here to predict something. They're asking, what's the depth of the water after 10 hours? So d of 10. And there was d when t is 10. So I think it helps to rewrite our equation, right? So we maybe we'll do that. Here I'll start off with just by saying d of t. Well, that equals p, which is 2.2 times cosine of q, which is 0 0.449, times t, which normally is a t, but in this case I'm going to put in a 10. And don't forget, I have to add 7.5 to it. Now, I don't need a calculator for that last part there, or at least this next part, because um, if I want to figure this part here out, 0.449 times 10, multiplying by 10 just moves the decimal, so that just makes it 4.49. I do plus 7.5. All I have to do then is just do this, figure out this on my calculator. Now, it helps to remember, though, you need to be in radian mode, because we were talking about 2 pi over something here, so we need, we've got to be in radian mode. And double check you're in radian mode, see I am up here, so that's fine. If you're not, you can always press the little uh, gear here and you can actually change the settings. Right? You can go into here, change the settings, and change it to degree instead of rad. In this case, I want rad. So you can do it all in one go, so you can say 2.2 times cosine. Cosine is a trigonometric function, so we press this and say cos. And I put in 4.49. I love how it always closes the bracket for you. That's actually a nice touch. Thanks, TI. You're inspiring me. So uh, if we do this, we put an enter, and uh, there we go. We get this big number here, 7.01477. And think again, how many significant figures? I hope you're yelling at me. It's three, you idiot. Good, three. So 7.01, I'm allowed to say this, because the zero is significant. Uh, so 7.01. So we can say that's the depth. 7.01 meters. There we go. Done.